It may not be in the flesh, but U.S. President Donald Trump will forever have a presence here in Israel as the entire Israeli cabinet on Sunday converged on the Golan Heights in order to inaugurate Trump Heights. This is a historic day. We are going to do two things. First, we are going to establish a new settlement on the Golan Heights, something we have not done for many years. The second is to honor a big friend of Israel, President Donald Trump. The U.S. ambassador to Israel called the tribute much deserved and much appreciated and included President Trump in the pantheon of American leaders to have most significantly impacted the Jewish state. Uh, to be in that, uh, that small uh, cadre of heroes, of Israeli heroes, of Harry Truman and Donald Trump, I think they belong together and I think they, are, they will always be known as the two greatest uh, presidents uh, for the state of Israel. The common thread throughout the day that Israel will retain the Golan Heights in perpetuity and that relations between Jerusalem and Washington are at an all-time high. This is a, a emphasized a good connection between the United States of America and uh, Israel. I'm sure that after the statement of President Trump, more country will come here to Israel and recognize that uh, Ramat Golan will stay forever in the Israeli hand. But with seemingly everything Trump-related, the event was not without controversy, as dozens of protesters gathered outside the future community. Moreover, some opposition parliamentarians described the event as merely a publicity stunt. Israel applied its domestic laws into the Golan in 1981, an act that most of the world condemned, viewing it as de facto annexation. President Donald Trump who became the first American president to recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights. I think this is crystal clear that this is the case, that this should be so. Indeed, given the near-complete destruction of Syria over the course of the civil war, most agree that giving back the territory would significantly harm Israel's deterrence. But to each action, there is a reaction, and the fiercest has come from the Palestinian Authority, which imposed a blanket boycott on all American officials, throwing a major wrench into the White House's efforts to jumpstart a peace process. So while the cornerstone laid in Trump Heights will likely enhance Israel's immediate strategic position, the lasting impact may only become evident long after the town's future residents move in. From Trump Heights, I'm Charles Biblazer, reporting for the Media Line.